Hi everyone, my name is Tuik Groth and welcome back to Jazz Drummer's Corner, my YouTube channel. Today we are looking at 4 bar space on Max Roach solo of St. Thomas, a Sonny Rollins classic. These exercises will help you to improve your mobility on the drum set, create ideas for solo figures and give you an insight into Max Roach's great way of looking at the drums as a melodic instrument. Let's go. Great to have you with me. You've just seen a short excerpt from my performance of Max Roach's solo in St. Thomas. This tutorial is exactly about this part of the solo. If you want to see the complete solo, just click on the info card right here. The basic exercises in this video are transcribed directly from Max Roach. It's about simple triplet figures that he often liked to use to move elegantly around the drum set. The following exercises are perfect for anyone, regardless of musical preference, to become mobile and agile on the drum set and develop a flow, whether you're a jazzer, rocker or popper. You can also integrate these orchestrations as solo phrases into your own playing, for example in Trading Force, but more on that later. Let's take a closer look at the four basic exercises A to D. You can now see A to D displayed. These are one bar phrases that are played alternately. That means you alternate between right and left hand. The starting point is the snare drum. Individual notes are then accentuated and orchestrated by the right or left hand on the toms. As shown in the notation, I recommend getting into the habit of playing the height on the beats 2 and 4 during jazz exercises. If you feel confident and want to get even closer to Max Roach, you can also play the bass drum quietly in quarter notes, something we know as feathering the bass drum. I have already made a tutorial on this too. The link can be found in the description of this video. Let's get to know exercise A to D individually before we combine them with each other. We will of course start slowly so that you can internalize the melodic sequence of the strokes well. Practice the bars slowly and then increase the tempo step by step. The aim is always to do at least 20 repetitions without any mistakes and to get used to faster tempos. After a successful run, you should increase the tempo moderately and start the exercise all over again. Let's get to know the bars together. Here is the first exercise, first slowly, then faster. Second exercise B. Now C.
And finally, the fourth exercise, D. Once you have mastered the invisible bars, things get really interesting. Now you can make combinations from A to D. The brilliant thing is that all four exercises can be combined with each other without any problems thanks to the alternating hand movement. I recommend that you start by linking two exercises together and then as before repeat this slowly and in a controlled manner 20 times or more until you feel confident. Only then should you increase the tempo. Playing all combinations at this point would be too extensive. After all, there are already 12 combinations without taking the order into account. As an example, I will play all three possibilities starting with A for you. A and B, A and C and A and D. Let's start with A and B first slowly, then faster. Now A and C. and A and D. Remember that making music is always about the creative process. Let's think about this. We've all been there. You're at a jazz session and something happens that has to happen. You're asked to trade fours with the band. That means you accompany the band for four bars as usual and then you have a four bar solo sequence. We all know the thought, what the hell am I supposed to play here? 
This is where Max Roach ideas can really help us. Instead of linking two exercises together, you could also link three or four exercises together and poof, I have an exciting four bar solo in the style of Max Roach. Theoretically, two bars with repetition would also be enough of course, but three or more fragments make things more interesting. If you want to utilize all combinations, there are 256 different permutations provided we distribute the letters A, B, C and D over four positions and the order of the individual letters in the respective combination plays a role. That's quite a lot, isn't it? To make it concrete, I'll show you two examples. I combine the sequence A, D, B, C as usual, first slowly, then a little faster to practice the pattern again in a continuous loop. Let's get more into the real life. I would like to go into the trading force situation. I play four bars of swing followed by the combination C, B, D, A. Then again four bars of swing followed by the same combination C, B, D, A just for practice from where I switch back to the swing and so on. Doesn't sound too bad, does it? But please do yourself a favor and practice your patterns in loops first as I presented earlier before you play swing to them as I did in the last example. Repeat them often, slowly and in a controlled manner at first, then increase your tempo moderately. Be patient and give yourself time. We are talking about weeks and months, not days, to practice so many possibilities. But the effort will definitely be worth it. That's all for today. Of course, we could go into even more depth, but that would go beyond the scope of this tutorial. But if you would like to see more of this, please write it in the comments below. The exercises I have shown you will help you to expand your playing range on the drum set and to integrate Max Rhodes playing field into your own playing to a certain degree. If you have any questions or ideas for more tutorials, videos, whatever, let me know in the comments. You can also reach me via social media or send me an email at timo at deinschlagflehrer.de. All contacts can be found in the description of this video. I'm always happy to answer your questions. I hope this tutorial has helped you. Thank you very much and see you soon. Take care. Your Timo.